Hi there, welcome back. There is a comment asking how to create a hypnotic spiral effect, and here is what I got. This effect is actually easy to create in DaVinci Resolve 17 using the Fusion Fast Noise node. Go to the Effects panel, open the Generators page. In the Fusion Generators section, add a texture background clip to the timeline. Go to the Inspector and select version 5, which is a background of vertical green lines. Switch to the Gradient tab. Click this little arrow to select the green color. Change to white. The width and direction of the lines are controlled by the start point and end point. For example, change the X value of end point. We can also enable the fusion overlay and adjust the points in the viewer. Move the center point control out of the way so it's easy to see the two points. In this case the center point doesn't affect the result. All right, this looks good to me now. On the gradient color slider, drag both black and white color points towards the middle so that the lines are solid with sharp edges. Depending where we put the color points, we can control the size of black and white lines. For example, if we want more white, we can move both towards the left. Otherwise move them to the right, and we get more black space. For the demo, we will keep them in the middle, so the black and white are equally sized. Because the repeat mode is set to ping pong, it repeats the gradient colors from black to white, then white to black, and so on. If we change to repeat mode, it also works for our case. But the lines are thinner. The repeat mode just repeats from black to white. In ping pong mode, the width is doubled. I like the wider one, so let's keep it in ping pong mode. Change the gradient type to radial, the straight lines now become circles. When we change the offset parameter, the circles are moving outwards or inwards. The offset is used to shift the position of gradient colors. We will animate this parameter to achieve the outwards or inwards animation effects. Move the playhead to the beginning, mark a keyframe. Set value to zero. Go to the end, set value to 5 for a new keyframe. Play the clip, and we got a nice outward animation. To change this to inwards, go to the end of the clip, set the keyframe value to minus 5. And the circles are moving inwards. This is good, but it's more like a ripple effect, not spiral. To make a spiral effect, we will need to go to the Fusion page. Select the Texture Background node. Press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window. Find and add a Coordinate Space node to the pipeline. The Coordinate Space node switches the coordinate space between rectangular and polar. It's often used to create warp effects and motion graphics backgrounds. Once the node is added, the image gets transformed. Change the coordinate space shape to polar to rectangular. We got a really distorted image. It also produces some interesting animation effects. Select the texture background node, change the gradient type to linear. Go to the viewer and drag the control point to change the end position until they look like spiral stripes. You may find it's hard to align the stripes with the mouse. If that's the case, we can go to the parameter field in the inspector. Move the text cursor to the digit where we want the change, and use the up and down arrow keys to change the value. If it changes too much or too little on that digit, 
move the cursor to next positions using the left and right arrow keys. All right, now it looks good. Play the clip, and we have a hypnotic inward spiral effect. But the circles are a bit squeezed. If we want to correct this, there are a few more steps to do. As I mentioned before in another video, all these pre-built fusion generators are macros based on the fast noise node in fusion. This texture background is a macro with predefined parameter settings. But since it's not a group macro, we cannot see the nodes inside. Press Ctrl C or right click the texture background node to make a copy. Paste the content into a notepad editor. Change macro operator to group operator. Press Ctrl A to select all content in the notepad and Ctrl C to copy. Go back to the Fusion node editor. Press Ctrl V to paste the modified node text. A new group is added to the editor, it's basically the same as the other node. Double click the group, it opens and reveals the only node inside, which is a fast noise node. Disconnect the previous node and connect the new group node to the coordinate space node. We have the same result just like before. Select the fast noise node and go to the inspector. The first two tabs are the same ones as we see in macro group inspector. Other than the different names, they both have the same parameters inside each tab. Switch to the third tab image, which doesn't exist in the macro control. Uncheck the auto resolution and change the height to 1920. Now the circles get back to normal, but need a bit more work to align the lines. Great, now they are aligned. And we have made a hypnotic inward spiral effect. To change it to outwards, simply change offset value to 5 for the ending frame. Switch back to the editor page, we can use this spiral effect as the alpha mat. And make the black color transparent by setting the alpha to 0. Add the 4 color gradient to the timeline above the spiral clip. Change the composite mode to foreground. Now this becomes a colorful spiral effect. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.